Speaking of Verlander, I generally think the more a team faces a pitcher, they start to get an advantage. They see tendencies, et cetera, except when you're facing Justin Verlander. Like, you face him six times. Good luck. You got a seventh time against one of the best pitchers in baseball. Listen, it, he's on the way to the Hall of Fame, and I think the thing that makes him great is he wants to be great. He loves the moment, and he's come back with a vengeance after Tommy John surgery. 18-4 and four record, and then 175 ERA. The numbers play. He does some things different now than he did pre-surgery when he was with the Tigers. He'll throw more fastballs, more four-seam fastballs up in the zone, particularly with two strikes. He, like Garrett Cole, Jacob DeGrom, all the great ones now, two fastballs, one up and a sinker down, a two-seamer. But his slider is electric. It's back, it's swing and miss, so he not only has a fastball that he can sink, he can ride to get swing and miss, he has a slider that he used to both righties and lefties. He can backdoor it. He can front door it. He can back foot it. Oh, and by the way, you get up there and you think, okay, left-handed lineup. He'll throw some straight change-ups, and it's a good one. He basically has three powerhouse pitches, but more importantly, he knows how to use all three. He reads hitters. He reads swings. He knows the league. There isn't a guy that I think of right now, maybe Max Scherzer, that is more driven than this guy is to be great, not to be good, to be great. I mean, you look at the numbers, 185 strikeouts and 175 innings pitch. He's doing things right now that the great ones did. Brett Saberhagen, Roger Clemens, Randy Johnson, John Smoltz, pitching well and dominating in their late 30s. He's one of the elite pitchers in baseball. And there are a lot of people. You go back to when he was acquired by the Astros a few years ago. There were a lot of people in baseball that thought the best pitching was in the rearview mirror. Like, what were they going to get for the playoff run? Well, they've gotten a lot, and they've gotten a lot more. And I think he's going to continue to get better. And he may even be better next year, year two back off of Tommy John. You that was what, your point. What, what's pretty amazing about Verlander is, yes, it helps to face him over and over again. But you also know if he's got his stuff going, you might know the outcome of what's going to happen at home plate <laughs> yeah, yeah. quicker than anybody else. So it's one of those things that really is what you hope for is you face him enough. Maybe he gives you some glimpse of a pattern that he's done to you in the past mm. that you might be able to pull out of your memory banks. And if he throws the same pitch in the same count and you get him yes. and you clip him, then you got him. But if he's hitting his spots. Right. And, and doing what that tape showed, you know the outcome going up don't play before it happens. <laughs> 5-1, 2.34 ERA against the Mariners this year. They're hoping that changes come playoff time.